Ah, you're here. Good news. Tarlem's refugees evacuated safely, and no fresh reports of Taboro's droids. You bought us time, and we'll need it. This is Gezadar, one of the Republic's top engineers, and a brave man for coming down here. Couldn't pass up a chance to thank the legendary Jedi who saved Coruscant. I was there when you stopped the planet prison. Have you verified Taboro's claim that the Ark will only run on Isotope 5? I analyzed the Ark schematics. Despite them being borderline incomprehensible, I can now say with authority that they reveal Taboro's threat is authentic. The Ark was specifically built to run on Isotope 5. It's the only energy source capable of pushing that massive vessel through McKeb's atmosphere. I still haven't heard a decent explanation for what that substance is. What makes Isotope 5 so special? It appears to be a radioactive variant of Illyrium, unique to Maked's planetary core. From what little I've examined, it's nearly a template element. Isotope 5 can be modified into all manner of useful configurations, including a potent fuel source. But I'm no expert. Then we need the real brains behind the Hut Cartel's operations here. Dr. Juvard Ilip Ogarab. And we know where he is. Whoa. The only five-time winner of the Beodur Science Prize is on Makeb? Are you saying he designed the Ark? Probably those droids, too. Dr. Ogarov has been holed up at the Sanctuary Research Complex since before his people invaded. If anyone knows about Isotope 5, it's him. Why would a hut scientist help us at all? Isn't he with the cartel? Dr. Ogarov is well-respected across the galaxy. For a hut, he's pretty reasonable. The Sanctuary Research Complex is one of the most advanced experimental laboratories in the galaxy. It's on an isolated mesa completely under HUD control. There's no telling what sort of defenses a genius like Dr. Ogarov has there. And you'll be going in blind. There are data access terminals on Sanctuary's testing grounds. Try accessing one. It might let you disable any unwelcome surprises. Otherwise, good luck. I don't care how well defended Sanctuary is. I'm tougher. I'll have Dr. Ogarov back in time for dinner. I have no plans to feed him. It would cost a fortune. And please, for the love of science, don't hurt Dr. Ogarov. I didn't bring a way to preserve his brain. It's high time you Republic agitators showed up. To borrow his brutes of this entire facility captive. I was wondering if you'd ever bother liberating it. The Republic sent me here to protect its people from a hut invasion. The word you're looking for is Defender. No offense intended. I'm confident you are quite the hero. There are many on this Mesa being forced to work as slaves. We would be honored to aid your attack. We possess detailed data on the lethal security grid to borrow installed across the Mesa. We'll help you destroy it so you can enter the main complex and we can escape. If you have information, now's the time to share it. Things are about to get loud. I am transmitting data on several key objectives. Each will provide you ample opportunity to convey your displeasure with Taboro. Stand by. Follow those instructions precisely. You'll not only gain access to the main complex, you'll destroy Taboro's security grid. We'll speak again when you breach the main complex entrance. Taboro's security grid is down. We're entering the main complex. Spondiferous! You've eliminated many of that bully's unforgivably barbaric thugs, but more remain inside the complex. Once you've eliminated them and disabled any internal defenses, we will evacuate Sanctuary. Your heroics are most appreciated, and we will return the favor. It is obvious you came for the illustrious Dr. Ogarov. We're transmitting his coordinates so that you may quickly find him. Best of luck. <laughs> The Chrono's running. You will not escape justice or this Jedi. Give us what we want and we'll be merciful.
churlish nincompoop. You can see why I was forced to lend my brilliance to your assault. I'm glad you're here. My apologies for the earlier subterfuge. A necessary contrivance. Taboro seized control of my defenses and was watching me closely. But I am no one's prisoner. You helped us defeat your own security grid. I thought your people only spoke in Huttese. All Huts can speak your language. We simply choose not to. Given the circumstances, I prefer to avoid linguistic misunderstandings. We have complementary goals. You want what Taboro possesses, and I wish very much not to die here. Provide me with transport off this doomed planet. I will aid your efforts to recover the Isotope 5 fuel rods that power Taboro's Ark. You're the only halfway decent hut we've met in a while. I suppose that should count for something. How fortunate for me that my brethren have profoundly lowered your expectations. I have a personal show here. It's large enough to accommodate us all. Thanks to you, I can now fly. We should leave before Taboro sends an army to kill us. Take me to your allies, and I will explain what must be done. Doctor, it's such an honor. I'm so glad we weren't forced to kill you. We held up our end of the bargain and got you to safety. Tell us about Isotope 5, and how to fuel the Ark. Isotope 5. Tomorrow's great discovery at the center of Macab. Something truly unique in all the galaxy, and worth destroying this planet to obtain. Imagine a substance as light as shimmer silk, but stronger than durasteel. It distorts gravity and electromagnetic fields so predictably that it can be refined into fuel. Isotope 5 has limitless potential to remake this galaxy. Those droids you battled were first-generation prototypes. Playthings. In Tabaro's hands, these weapons will oppress entire sectors. The cartel won't become as bad as the Empire. Maybe worse. More profitable than the Imperials, one would hope. Honestly, we don't know how they support themselves. I crafted a beautiful set of Isotope 5 fuel rods to power Taboro's Ark. Some of my finest work, but you'll never see it. According to my data stream, Taboro has increased mining production to maximum levels. McKeb's destruction will arrive far ahead of schedule. You have a spacecraft, yes? We should depart immediately. We won't abandon millions of McKeb refugees. You said you could help us get the fuel rods back. That was before I saw the latest updates on Taboro's drilling operations. The mining platforms are massive lasers drilling directly into the planet. Shutting them down would release core pressure and buy us time. Attacking the mining platforms would be suicidal. Even worse, it might kill me. Wait, why do I get the feeling you're serious? You just confirmed our next move. Stay put and hope we make it back. <sighs> Death by Taboro or slow suicide with the Republic. Perhaps I have chosen poorly. I fear it won't be as easy as flipping switches. The platforms and their control rooms will be heavily defended. Everything on this planet has been an ordeal. I'd hate to break our perfect record. But don't worry, those drilling lasers are going offline. If they don't, I doubt we'll see each other again. I'll have a transport to the mining platforms prepped for you immediately. Keep us apprised of your progress. Thanks for the assist. Private Vandalic, 8th Imperial Infantry. Might keep your distance. Insights leaking out. You didn't come alone. Where's the rest of your squad? Scattered around. Our forces were thorough. Droids especially. Not much time. So listen. Wasn't always Imperial military. Born on Macap. Caught wind of the hot takeover. And volunteered for this. <laughs> Defend my old home. You don't sound like a typical Imperial. Didn't realize the military was recruiting outside their space. Was this or mining? Bad choice, looking back. Orders were to steal Isotope 5. But I wanted to help your evacuation. Still have friends and family here. Shutting down drills, not enough. Need to open emergency release valves at primary control center. Reduce core pressure. You're a soldier, not a geologist. How did you figure all this out on your own? I grew up on these platforms. My father was a foreman. Use slicer spike in control center's mainframe. 
Override out security lockout. Take control. Vent the core. Control center's heavily guarded. Sorry, that part's on you. Please get my people off this rock. Is there a message you want delivered to your friends and family? No time. Wish I could stay. Lemda, Gez, we're at the drilling site's primary control center. An Imperial soldier, an ex-native, told us to open the emergency release valves. He said it was the only way to release planetary core pressure. Do you agree? Tectonic vibrations are still off the charts. Caranto Mesa just exploded. Good thing we're not there. Those drilling lasers were working overtime. The heat buildup beneath the planet's crust is massive. Venting the core would cool things off. Sounds like it's our only option. Slicing the mainframe now. It's working. Readings show seismic activity falling quickly. That should buy you enough time to get the Ark's fuel rods. I think it's time we finally paid to borrow a visit in person. Where can we find that hut? You don't want to go anywhere near him until you get help from our new friends. We've had an interesting development while you were gone. Dr. Ogarab isn't the only hut on Makeb who's changing sides. The local hut cartel leaders, minus Taboro, want to negotiate with you personally. Hurry back to camp and meet us in the diplomatic tent. You sold us out to that maniac, Taboro. Now that he's turned on you, we're supposed to save your skins? Incredible. Had we known Taboro was insane, we never would have supported him. He is no longer Hut Cartel. We formally shun him. However, in breaking ties with Taboro, we find ourselves stranded on Makeb with you. We are prepared to offer generous compensation for seating and cargo space aboard the Ark. Cargo? Are you delusional? Your bodies take up more room than a dozen good people. Ah, one of the Republic's greatest heroes. Just the person we could use to bring some wisdom and perspective to the discussion. Most of my negotiations occur with a lightsaber, but I'm always open to alternatives. The hut leaders on Makeb sent an expendable diplomacy droid for a reason. Cowards. Most revered Republic champions, my masters apologize for this unfortunate situation. Surely we can reach a state of mutually beneficial recompense and earn passage aboard the Ark? My people deserve rescue. The Hut Cartel's leaders can't just beg their way out. Shalem's right. But these are the most powerful huts in the galaxy. We can name our price to save their lives. And think what that means for defeating the Empire. Are you planning to run for Senate as soon as we leave the planet? Hadn't really thought about it. My point is, you have the power to force the Cartel to commit its forces to us. Taboro has lost his mind, and these cartel leaders know it. They can't go back to him. They need us. Honored Republic heroes, you are known for mercy and greatness. Can you find it within yourselves to forgive our profound error in judgment? Stop appealing to our sentimentality. Forgiveness isn't the issue here. Your masters want a ticket off Makeb, and will consider providing it. For the right price. Honored Republic negotiators, my masters will happily continue debasing themselves, but Makeb's time grows short. If you provide safe passage for my masters and their cargo, they will fully commit the cartel to an alliance with the Republic. Surely you find this agreeable? You'll commit a lot more than fully. The cartel cost the Republic time and credits that could have been spent defeating the Empire. We'll need your technology, your mercenaries, your warships, and your money. Keep giving them until we tell you to stop. That's our offer. Take it or leave it. Your masters can enjoy Makeb's destruction from front row seats for all we care. My masters wish no further hostilities with you. The offer is accepted without condition. I think you're the first in galactic history to force the huts into a deal they can't afford. Now all we need are those fuel rods. Dr. Ogarab is with Shalem. You should coordinate with them. The cartel has deserted you, Taboro. You have no allies left. Don't be a fool. Give us the fuel rods. 
I think you're overestimating your real estate to borrow. When this planet goes, you're going with it. <laughs> that inbred imbecile has abandoned all sanity. You'll have to take the Ark's fuel rods by force. His palace is a testament to my artistry. I poured my spirit into designing lethal defenses. I also left myself a private entrance inside. Finding a way inside the palace is the least of our problems. We're heading into the heart of a lunatic's private playground. Tabora will have far more than my inspired designs guarding him. His most lethal soldiers and isotope 5 droids patrol every corridor. We'll hold this position until you get back. Without those fuel rods, millions will die. If you can't get them, I'm canceling your parade. Tell your people not to worry. We'll get those fuel rods no matter what. Be safe. You now have coordinates and the security code to my secret entrance. Once you're inside, contact me for more information. Don't die. Your hidden entrance appears to be unguarded, Doctor. Of course. Tomorrow doesn't even know it exists. He has no eye for such exquisite detail. He is also despairingly predictable, and almost certainly ranting away in his throne room while clutching the fuel rods to his bosom. I am transmitting procedures to defeat the security protocols separating you from tomorrow. Follow them precisely. I'll be unable to reach you via hollow after this. We can take things from here. You've been most helpful. The Republic will remember your cooperation. Perhaps your Supreme Chancellor will reward me with my own private laboratory. The planet Tishron would be perfect. A last word of advice. Tomorrow asked for some rather unorthodox droid designs. It's possible he actually built a few. If so, good luck with them. Yuna, Liska, Chananga, Wachi, Kospaini, Hontinka. Joba Numbo Tafa, Avati Kun Achi Donik Namoria. This planet may not be around much longer, but its people will always be part of the Republic. Obey Tupa. Tafoya Rico, Radre Tapa Tapa. Ojima. Uban Tony Alipa is Tipatoga. How do you plan to kill me, Taboro? Your awful breath or rolling over? you but me. The Ark's fuel rods, as promised. Tomorrow's gone along with his entire supply of Isotope 5. The whole planet felt it. Lemda says the explosion triggered a chain reaction in the planet's core. If you have unfinished business, better make it quick. I'll take the fuel rods and get our people to work installing them. I left a shielded shuttle here at the camp. It's your ticket off, Makeb. The rest of us are taking the Ark. 
You're sure there's nothing else that needs to be done? Have all the planet's refugees made it aboard the Ark? The ship is full and ready to fly. Thanks to you, we're about to achieve the fastest planetary evacuation in galactic history. I hope we meet again on Keylander Station. It'll have to be. Lemda says there's a fissure opening directly beneath us. We're launching before the Mesa collapses. on the surface, we feared the worst. The Republic just inherited several million people who need a new home. Please meet me in Keylander Station's conference chamber. We have much to discuss. The Supreme Chancellor requested a meeting. Welcome back. I was informed that you survived a terrifying ordeal. You have my deepest admiration. Ah, here they are. Millions of hungry mouths to feed and nothing to show for it. You pledged, Mekeb, to us, Shalem, and you knew it was doomed. We had no idea the planet was that unstable. Our offer was made in good faith. My uncle is a businessman, Chancellor. But in this case, he's telling the truth. You knew the groundquakes were getting worse. You used the Republic, knowing we'd be obligated to help your people even if you had nothing to offer in return. They didn't know Mekeb was doomed. Only that the ground quakes were increasing after the huts took over. They didn't voice all of their suspicions, but they were trying to save lives. Would we have acted any different? That hardly matters now. This is a debacle. We came here seeking resources to defeat the Sith Empire. Instead, we're walking away with debts and obligations. What about the hut leaders? You negotiated a peace agreement with them, didn't you? He's right. The cartel leaders have promised to support the Republic wholeheartedly. So we have a worthless ally, and a broken one. Still, the Huts possess considerable wealth. Only the cartel leaders who needed rescuing agree to this alliance. Fortunately, they possess most of the wealth and power. They'll neutralize any holdouts. With our new friend's wealth and warships, we've gained a substantial advantage over the Empire. That doesn't address the problem of Makeb's people, however. I need a solution. The Republic needs to establish a haven for war victims. I can't think of anyone more deserving than the people of Makeb. The Huts have plenty of credits to fund the construction of new homes, and we can use their fleet to protect them. I had to twist your arm to call the Republic. Glad you finally swallowed that spirit of independence. After everything we've been through, to receive such generosity. Thank you all. The people of Makeb are guiding them to their new home. I think you're the right person for that job, Shalem. I'm not. But you've shown me what a true leader looks like. I'll follow that example. I want to speak with my operative in private. Please excuse us. You've made the best of an unfortunate situation. Well done. The Huts want to be on the winning side of this war. And you've shown them who that is. We have you alone to thank for this alliance. We still have plenty of fighting to do. The Empire isn't falling anytime soon. Indeed. Which brings me to my next point. For too long, the Republic has wasted time reacting to the enemy. We must fight this war to win by going on the offensive. Savor this victory. Return to the war's front lines and press our advantage. Together, we will be triumphant. <laughs> 